Well, folks, we are here on our show this week in Harmony, North Carolina, Hunting Creek Preserves, and I've got two guys that I tell you what are going to be joining me today on the Sporting Clays course out here. But the owner and the co-owner with him and his brother, Ralph, this is Richard Reniger. Richard, thank you for having us. Okay, and I tell you what, let me introduce this other distinguished gentleman over here. With Clay Shooting USA Magazine and the Sporting Life is John Caffey, and John is from Lake Norman up here. I lo normally like to have John with us when we're doing a little bit of Sporting Clays because that's what this guy does, and so he is primary reason we're up here today. And Richard, I'd like to tell you, thank you so much for hosting our show today. And, and you know, I'm looking forward to getting out on the course. It's kind of a pre-tune up here, okay? We've had the shotguns up most of the summer. It's been hot. And now dove season's coming up. You got then the fall quail season, chucker, pheasant. You guys do it all up here on your 1200 acre farm. Tell me a little bit about and let the folks know what you got going on up here. Well, it's like you said, it's, uh, it's in the, we're in the August period now coming up on dove season and everybody wants to do that opening day or the opening second day, whatever, but everybody wants to do a little dove hunting. It's in their blood and that's a great thing. And we do a big hunt. We have, we'll have several, several people, probably 150 people with their kids and all most of the time we run a family hunt on this because it's important to carry that tradition forward. And then this, this, the sporting clays will help them get tuned back in where they need to be and, uh, and, and get their shot placement better on that. And, and it also gives them a chance to come out with the kids again and teach those kids what's going on with it, how to do their shots and all. Because this day and time, grandma and grandpa wasn't raised on the farm and they don't have the opportunity. So we provide that opportunity. Well, you know, one final thing here, and John, I want to pick your brain just a second, but one final thing out of the 1,200 acres, this is a working farm, okay? I mean, you're growing corn, soybeans. I mean, plus you've got your bird fields out here that are all depicted. So that, that's really what makes it so nice, okay? And it's for the average guy to come up here, he can enjoy it, have a good time. Plus, you guys got a great banquet hall in here, full food service facility. I mean, you really have, have got a, a well put together operation. We, we get a lot of corporate events and uh, having just outings and all have a little business meeting and then go and enjoy some shooting and all. It's a great alternative to golf and a lot of these other things. We just had an outdoor equipment deal where they came in from several states and demonstrated their stuff and all went out shooting and enjoyed a great day. Well, you're going to be on Bob's Top 16, okay? I'll tell you what. And John, listen, thank you for coming along today. You know, John's going to give us a shooting tip of the week here for all you guys out there that ain't picked up a shotgun lately. But he is, is one of these guys that is a renowned shotgunner. Um, and i tell you what, John, I'm really looking forward to me and you and Richard plinking some targets this week. It's always fun to get out there and do that. It is, Bo. I'm telling you. All right, well, let's go, let's go to the fields out here, all right? All right. Rooster! Oh my goodness! Ooh. It has been a great time. On this week's Chevy Destination, we head to Harmony, North Carolina to Hunting Creek Preserves. Hunting Creek Preserves offers the finest quail, pheasant, chucker, and a world-class sporting clays course. Located within an hour's drive of Charlotte, Greensboro, and Boone, it's centrally located for easy access to major cities in North Carolina. Hunting Creek has over 2,000 acres of managed property, specifically for upland bird hunting. And for the sporting clays enthusiast, they offer a 13-station sporting clays course. Hunting Creek also offers facilities for corporate outings and weddings. Plus, they also offer memberships for upland bird and sporting clays. Go online to Honey Creek Preserves and book your North Carolina shooting adventure today. And to get to your next outdoor adventure, be sure you're getting there in a new Chevrolet vehicle. Go online at Chevrolet.com for monthly specials or to find a dealer near you. Listen, you're living the sport life. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Welcome to Upcountry South Carolina. Discover the six counties in Upcountry South Carolina that run from metropolitan cities with fine dining and cultural events to pristine natural beauty and all the adventure that goes with it. From hiking, rafting, to some of the best fishing in the Southeast. Six counties, one state, a million opportunities. Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. 
the new Chevy Silverado HD with Duramax diesel and Allison 10 speed, up to 36,000 pounds of max towing, and up to 14 available camera views. Silverado HD, own work, own play, own the HD life. The 2024 Silverado HD, starting at $45,295. Chevrolet, together let's drive. Whether you're dealing with a loaded firearm or an unloaded firearm, you want to maintain muzzle control at all times and make sure it's pointed in a safe direction. This has been another safety hunting tip from South Carolina DNR. Remember, safe hunting is no accident. Remember, when you're out hunting game, do not use your rifle scope to identify game or your target. Use a good set of binoculars. And remember, safe hunting is no accident. This has been another safety hunting tip from South Carolina DNR. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these great partners. By the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, making life better in the outdoors of South Carolina. By Berkeley. Berkeley, your fish, our science. By Upcountry South Carolina. Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. By Southern Woods Plantation, offering the best quail hunting in the Southeast. And by Santee Cooper Country, discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. Folks, welcome back to this week's show. We're up in Harmony, North Carolina at Hunting Creek Preserves and Sporting Clays course up here. And listen, John Caffey has agreed to do something that I think everybody needs to pay attention to in our shooting tip of the week. And John, you know, is uh, an outdoor writer. I mean, this guy lives to shoot and he's written about courses all over the country. And John, I tell you what, if you had three things that you could put out to folks that are just now wanting to get the shotgun out of the closet since last season, what would advice would you give them from your your perch and, and, and you know basically from your years of experience? Well I tell you Bob every year I get the same question what can I do to be ready for opening day and the thing I tell everybody is that if you haven't had that gun out of the closet or out of the gun safe for a whole year what you need to do is get it out make sure it's clean and uh, operational if you don't know how to do that take it to your local gunsmith have them clean the barrels check the firing pins uh, lube and, and clean the gun just so you're ready to go out in the field. The uh, second thing is once you have done that, get your eyes and ears so you're safe when you go out and go to your local skeet shooting facility or sporting clays course and get out there with some shells and, and do live fire and shoot incoming birds and outgoing birds and left and right crossers and that will prepare you for when you're in the field shooting dove. And the third thing you can do, and you can do this from the uh, privacy of your own home. With a safe gun, take time to mount the gun. Follow the edge of the ceiling, the board there, and practice mounting and moving the gun. That way that will give these muscles that you haven't used for an entire year a little warm up so you're not so sore when you get out there in the field. Nicely done. Good shooting, Richard. I better quit there. But, but that's a good shoot right there, man. Awesome. Are you going to make me go second? Oh, my gosh. Now we do the dub. <laughs> Y'all are killing me. You're killing me. <clears throat> you got to crawl before I walk, you know. It's all good. Pull it. Pull it. Nothing but dust. Woo! Let's do a double. I'm feeling spiffy. Pull it! Woo! 
Mm. You know, something told me I should have done that the other way. <laughs> All right, let's try it the right way then. Pull it. There we go. Ha! Gee, a bobbed right, red true pair. <laughs> Ooh. Man, I'm telling you, awesome. All right, John, come on, man. It's all man, about I you. Man, I tell you, the double A's can't miss. Let's do them I right. I know. Listen, you're living the sporting life. Yeah, that's it. Pull. Pull. Nicely done. Nicely done. You ready for a double? Ready for a double. All right, man. I really like this array. This is a nice target. It is Woo! There you go. Don't get Get a pair. <laughs> Look at that. Don't get anybody. Man, it don't. Uh, you know, I, I will tell you. You know, guys, one of the key things that I've found doing the sporting clays piece is I love to go to different courses and see exactly what the thought process is that guys go through. You guys have obviously set these targets up because you're a hunting preserve here, and that's a good thing, okay? You know, we've shot them off trampolines, I mean, you know, back door, I mean, I, all kinds of stuff, but I can truly see, Richard, you've aligned this based on your clientele who come up here to dove hunt, who want to bird hunt, and, and that's really important. Well, that and the youth side of it, the, some of our targets are tougher than others. You know, they've been beating on me pretty good lately on number one and going away, and it's way out in front of you going away target. Says I said that just humbles you for the rest of the course. But you want it good so everybody, every level of shooter can have a good time. They can change up the way they present the targets as far as pairs or whatever to the grade of the shooter, but everybody can have a good time, beginner to the expert. Well, you know, John, you go all over the country. You do massive amount of articles for um, uh, the magazines that you write for. What do you look for when you go out there? Well, I look for, like uh, Richard said, I look for the uh, presentation of the targets. Are they, is it a combination of hard targets and easy targets? That way you're not discouraged while you're out there. If you never hit any, you're not going to like to do it. So it's always good to get out there and smoke a few and then have a few that humble you and uh, that just keeps you coming back for more. So. Well, and I agree with you, you know, and, and the thing about it is I, I swap back and forwards. So I'll do 12 gauge if I'm doing a real sporting clays event or something like that. But preseason like this, and you guys are getting ready to do your big dove hunt, I shoot quail, and folks have watched me over the years, you can test to this. When I go quail hunting, pheasant hunting, um, chucker, whatever it is, I shoot a 410. Yeah. I, I, it's not about the challenger, I'm not trying to prove something. I just love shooting a 410. It's focused me to be a better shooter, I guess because I'm, I'm thinking more. Because you know, you can get lazy with the 12 gauge because you think it's big pattern, big sky, little bullet, you know, but you guys have really done a good job. I'm looking forward to the next station. Let's lead, do it. Lead us on. Let's do it. Let's uh, hope good luck. All right, man, it. let's do it. Nice. Nice break. No bird. There it goes. And you told me you didn't shoot very much. I don't. Huh? Oh. <laughs> you can always get better. You can start somewhere and you always get better. I know. Sometimes you get a little worse, but sometimes you get better. Well, look, that's pretty good shooting. Now, look, this station here is more of a mimic of a, of a dove shoot and yeah. a quail cross. That's what I like about coming up here to your facility. This is perfect. Good for warming up, good for getting ready. Come on, check us out. All right, man. I'm trying to get myself to feeling good, John. Okay, you're going to make me go second again? Yeah, I'll go. It's a step to do. Uh, Keep the four tens together. <laughs> you're killing me, man. All right. Now, remember which one you're going to shoot first. Yeah, well, I'm going to do the single first. So that's going to be uh, the low one and then the high one. Okay, here we go. Because we got a tower behind us. That's right. All right, be easy on me, John. Pull it. Pull it. That Keep one. In. Man, that is a tough shot coming across there. Woo <laughs> yeah, all right. What are we doing? High one. Pull it.
Good mm. swing, though. All right. Good shot. Low one. Pull it. Mmm. Tough shots. Those are tough. Now that's why you need to practice. All right, let's do a double. All right, advice, Richard. High first, then low, or low first and then high? I would get the high bird, but get him way early. Okay, gotcha. All right, man, good tip. Pull it. You done gone. Mm. All right. Well, I'm just, you know, I tell you. Everybody's different. It is. It's almost kind of like fishing. When you've never fished the hole before, you got to go with the guide, you know? Okay, let's try doubles again. Pull it. There, there we go. We'll just go, we'll go pair and then we'll go singles. Okay, all right. All right. Man, that, what a challenge. Yeah, go big or go home. That's it. <laughs> Pull. Ah, nice, nice. Mm. Singles, low first. Let's do another pair, and I'll instead of going left to right, I'll go go the other I'll, way. I'll, okay. Right to left, I'll go left to right. You know, people think dove hunting's easy. It ain't. <laughs> Pull. No bird on the first one. Oh, I did, did come out. Mm. I gotta tell you, John, whoever designed this, and I'm sure Richard had a hand in it. This is a tough shot. It's a very tough shot. All you need is a little shadow over here, and you're you're searching yeah, for that exactly. bird. All right. Well, I got the single there. Throw me a single off of uh, the high the one. The high one. Okay. Put. Well, we'll go that way too. Pull. Mm. Only way if you know you hit that one is it changed direction. Yeah, I know. And you got to wait for that hole in the, the light there in the gap. Yep. Throw me the high bird. I got you. Pull. Shoo. And you know, it's, it's almost one of them, you know you got it in your sight, but you got to wait. You got to wait. Yeah. Yeah. Patience is one of those things I need training on. Better get him a hurry than you get him away. That's true. Let's see how let's see how in a hurry we can get. All right. Pull that high one. Pull. There you go. Look at that. Oh man. Awesome. Good shoot. Thank you. That was awesome. That was awesome. Richard, let's go to the next challenge. Alright. So we're just gonna take it out. Let the oil soak okay. into the if it's okay, I'm gonna shut this stove off. Yes, of course. That it's hot great. Oil out how about that? Nestled in the western part of South Carolina, the old 96th district is comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick counties. Rich in history and small town charms, the old 96th district is part of South Carolina's freshwater coast with over 2,000 miles of shoreline offering lakeside camping, boating, and fishing. Local shops offer a variety of unique gifts, artwork, and food. Discover the unexpected wonders of the old 96th district of South Carolina. Understand the fish, design the bait. No, redesign it, trim this, add that. Definitely more of that. Perfect. Will they smash it? <laughs> Smashing it and holding it. That's how we do it. That's the formulas, tweak the colors, make it sing, make it dance. Optimize design for that lateral line, all with a single track mind for getting hit, staying bit, ripping lips for making any fish your fish. That's our science, Berkeley science, baby. Good taste, it starts at the beginning. And when you take what was started right here in South Carolina and keep it here, we promise you'll notice the difference because fresh, locally grown food just tastes better. As you gather together with friends and family, be sure to enjoy the best the season has to offer. Choose certified South Carolina grown produce and products. It's a matter of taste. The new Chevy Silverado HD with Duramax diesel and Allison 10 speed. Up to 36,000 pounds of max towing and up to 14 available camera views. Silverado HD. Own work, own play, own the HD life. 
the 2024 Silverado HD, starting at $45,295. Chevrolet, together let's drive. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or coming to vacation, make sure you're purchasing South Carolina-grown farm products. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Folks, welcome into this week's edition of the Sportsman's Table. We're here on the beautiful campus of Ori Georgetown Tech at the International Culinary Institute here in Myrtle Beach. And joining me is freshman student here at the Culinary Institute, Gabrielle Favale from right here in Myrtle Beach. Gabrielle, thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you for having me. Well, listen, I am excited about this. This is the first time we've had fried chicken, yes. and I'm excited. How are we going to do this today? Um, just simple salt and pepper with some flour. Okay. It'll deep fry to a nice golden brown. And All right. Good. Well, let's get started. Okay. All right. Salt, pepper, gosh. You know, that's probably one of the first things you learn when you were over here at the Institute, or you might have learned that at home. Yes, <laughs> definitely. My mom cooks a lot. So. Oh, well, good. What brought you to being a student here at the Institute? Why did you want to be a chef? Um, I've always wanted to go to culinary school, so it's just been a big part of my life. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Yes. Okay, we got him all sort sorted out there. Oh, yeah. Just okay. going to rub in the pepper a little bit. Gotcha. Okay. No bland food allowed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> salt pepper. <laughs> You know, it's coated really nice. The, the bland, no bland food allowed. I know where you get that. Okay. It's from Chef Tom. I know, and I'm still trying to tell him never trust a skinny chef, but I ain't got him to say it yet. <laughs> okay. Get it nice and coated. All right. Okay, shake off excess. Okay. And we're going to just put it in. You want your oil to be at 350. All right. Or it could be a little higher because when you put your raw chicken in, it'll, the then temperature it, will drop. I got you. Okay. Oh, there you go. That looks almost perfect. Yes, so it's going to be cooking for probably like 10, 10 minutes, 13 minutes. Okay. Okay, Gabrielle, looks like you've got our chicken ready to roll. Yes, so it get a nice golden brown color. It oh, looks yeah. good. Okay. So we're just going to take it out. Let the oil soak okay. into the well, If it's okay, I'm going to shut this stove off. Yes, we're of course, it's great. that hot oil out the way. How about that? Yeah, so we'll let it sit for a second, and okay. then we're going to plate. Oh, wow. Over okay. here, I have some mac and cheese, a little bit of carrots for color, yeah. and then some collard greens with bacon. Oh, goodness. You know, listen, there ain't a person alive that don't like that combination, okay? <laughs> it's very good. It's comfort right. food. And it is comfort yes. food. You ain't kidding. All right. So it looks like our chicken leg is about to get in there, huh? Yes. All right. So you normally would let it sit for a little bit. Right. Okay. Going to take it by the bone, plate oh, it wow. just like this. Ah, you got the, the mac bone. and cheese is for height. I got you. And you got the bone up. Oh, goodness. So you can, however you would like to see it like that. Oh, goodness. There you go. Fried chicken, mac and cheese, collars. Yes, sir. Huh? That's what I'm talking about, huh? Thank you. Welcome. Okay. I know you're from New York originally. Mm -hmm. You moved down here to Myrtle Beach with your folks. Yes. But that is a true southern dish right there. Thank you. Thank you for being a guest on the show. Good Thank luck. You for and, me. and well, as you go on and you get graduated, matter of fact, we'll come back. As you close to get graduated, we'll do another recipe. How about that? That sounds good. Well, folks, listen, I tell you what. Log on to certifiedsc.com and see what's fresh on your menu. And we'll be right back here again next week on another great recipe on the sportsman's table. To find out more information on supporting local South Carolina farmers and their products, visit CertifiedSC.com. It's a matter of taste. Take a journey off the beaten path to Lake Hartwell Country. Tucked away in the northeast corner of South Carolina, Lake Hartwell Country is a hidden gem with waterfalls, mountains, beautiful lakes, and history dating back to Revolutionary War times. For the outdoor enthusiasts, Lake Hartwell Country offers fishing, hiking, water recreation, horseback riding, and so much more. Come visit Lake Hartwell Country, the land by the blue wall. The new Chevy Silverado HD with Duramax diesel and Allison 10 speed. Up to 36,000 pounds of max towing and up to 14 available camera views. 
Silverado HD. Own work, own play, own the HD life. The 2024 Silverado HD, starting at $45,295. Chevrolet, together let's drive. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking, offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you by these great partners. Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. By Lake Hartwell Country, the land by the blue wall. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste. By the old 96th District of South Carolina, come discover the unexpected wonders of South Carolina's 96th District. And by South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing, your one stop for all your company's promotional needs. Well, folks, listen, up here in Harmony, North Carolina, Hunting Creek Preserve, Sporting Clays Course, I tell you what, we've had a great show this week. My two guests, the co-owner here, Richard Reniger, him and his brother Ralph, and I tell you what, we'll catch Ralph on the next one because we're coming back up here to hunt quail, pheasant, and chucker sometime during the season, but I also got to thank my good partner here, my sporting clays expert on this week's show, John Caffey. And you know, John, uh, I tell you what, you just really never cease to amaze me, man. Shooting that 410, brother, I gotta tell you. That huh? was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Cost me some money, I have to go buy one. I know, and you know, Richard, I tell you what, you guys have got a great place up here. And coming back to hunt, I know that we're gonna have an equally good time to do that. I wish you all the very best on the opening of the season, the dove shoot and all that but what a great place you guys have, have built. Well, thank you for coming. We want to have you back for the hunt. There's one more request. I want you to come back for our big youth district, youth shoot, when there's cars and people everywhere and all these young people competing in that hunter safety that the North Carolina Wildlife puts on. Ah, it's we will, a great thing. We will do it, I guarantee you. Thank you so much, your pleasure to be with today. John, thank you again for Always coming. For we appreciate it. And folks, listen. The outdoors my passion. I want it to be yours too. We'll see you right back here again next week on another great episode of Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine.